Hey guys, how's it going? So, if you're anything like me, you probably uh, like to have a silent computer. Nice, quiet fans going on for, uh, you know, lots of, lots of reasons. It's, it's just nice. So, if you have some fans, uh, you might be able to make them uh, spin less quickly and quieter by controlling them. Uh, especially if uh, you bought some nice fans, like I have uh, Be Quiet brand fans that I got for my computer. And it's really important to uh, set these fans up so that uh, you can control how quickly they spin and stuff like that to make sure that uh, they will be quietly prop uh, or properly quiet enough. Uh, when I first did this, this, this fan here is spinning at full blast and it was extremely loud, so you don't want that. Um, so I have the Asus uh, Prime 390 a motherboard and um, yeah first thing you want to do is locate where your fan ports are so over here we have channel 1 port that we have plugged in right there and here's my channel 2 port which I'm using for my fans and then I also have a water cooler that I have hooked up just to a PC fan slot but right now we're gonna mainly focus on these case fans so first thing is first just make sure that you get it plugged in uh, to the channel 1 channel 2 ports and just know where you're dealing with that, okay? Second thing is second. You want to uh, get to your BIOS menu from your computer. So if you don't know how, uh, with this motherboard, my computer, basically you turn the computer off, and then you uh, wait for it to shut down, and then you hit the power button again. And as it's powering up, while it's at a black screen, you're just going to hit the delete key, just mash it over and over again until you get to this screen. Uh, from here, we're going to go to CPU fan down here, and we'll see Q fan control. You can also see right here, this is like your fan profile. You can see how fast the fans are spinning. So my CPU fan, uh, 2,000 RPM, and then the channel fans, you can see their respective RPMs uh, here. Uh, the reason why one of these is spinning a lot slower right now is because it is a 140 millimeter fan versus a 120 millimeter fan. So... Uh, gets less rotations, pushes less air, etc. But, okay, here's the important part. We're going to go to Q-Fan Control. And here is Q-Fan Control. Um, you can see all the different types of fans. So right now, we're working with Channel Fan 1 and 2. And uh, you want to find out if your fan is PWM or not. Uh, if it's PWM, make sure that uh, you have this selected. If it's on DC, then you won't be getting the benefits of using a PWM fan. So you'd want to hit that and then hit apply down here. And you'll see these are the options for how we can set our fans. So it probably will be on standard default. And if I go ahead and change this to standard, hit apply, it'll actually make the fan uh, basically spin uh, more and it'll be louder. So this is basically just a graph of, you know, fan percentage where it's at 100% power when uh, the heat is at a certain amount. So I have it set to silent mode, where it kind of pushes that back a little bit. Um, you can go with turbo if you want faster spans, full speed, where it's just 100% here. I'll show you what this sounds like with... You, you just heard that click on. Here, let me be quiet so you can hear this. Let me undo that. So I'll switch to this again. Oops, let me click it. And if I do the same thing for Channel Fan 2, put it at full speed, we have a very loud computer. But if we just go ahead and switch those to silent, it is night and day difference. Um, also, you can go to manual if, you, if you'd like. And this allows you to set specific ranges for everything. So let's say uh, I want my computer to, at 70 degrees, go to 72% power right there. You can kind of set these thresholds for, you know, ultra quiet if you want, like this. Uh, basically, the fans would be at only 20% power all the way up until 75 degrees Celsius, then it would go to max power. That's probably not optimal. Uh, you want to set this differently so that, you know, maybe once it gets kind of hot, it'll start to go up. But you get the gist. This will basically automatically control that. So for now... Uh, the default silent works well enough for me, and it's, like I said, it's a night and day difference. So 
After you play with all the different fans, make sure that everything here is set to your liking. Uh, just go ahead and hit apply all, OK, exit, and then you can just hit save and exit down there. Um, and it will tell you if there's any like changes, it'll say, you know, blah, 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 fan of this to this to this. Just go ahead, hit OK, and it will boot up to normal. So that's about it. Uh, just a little video on how to use QFan with the ASUS. So thanks for watching, guys, and peace out. Enjoy your silent computer fans.